Bayern Munich manager Thomas Tuchel uh, admitted the Bundesliga title race is over with seven games to play his side lost 2-0 at home to Borussia Dortmund they're 13 points now behind Bayer Leverkusen at the top of the table European football expert Kevin Hatchard told Trans Euro Express that the Bayern boss is under serious pressure in the media there's been a lot of criticism for Tuchel specifically in the media, Built, which is one of the big publications out there. Yeah. Alfred, Alfred Draxler is one of their big columnists, and he said Tuchel's got to go immediately. said he's lost control of the players, said they're not responding to him, and if they're going to save anything from this season, he has to go. Wow. Yeah, it's a difficult time as far as Thomas Tuchel is concerned. I just want to ask you a question about Harry Kane. Um, oh. Andy, because oh, you look, they're still in the Champions League, but I wonder what he's had a fantastic season. Do you think, bearing in mind what's happened there, and they are managerless, and they're a million miles off Leverkusen at the moment, let's yeah. be brutally honest about it, they've got all sorts of issues there. Do you think Harry Kane might be thinking at the end of this season, I wouldn't mind coming home? Well, it must have crossed his mind. It, there is no question, it must have crossed his mind. I personally think that you would. It, Whoever they uh, the appoint at Bayern, there's going to be a massive change there in the summer. And I would have thought that next season, they'll again, they'll start as, probably start as favourites to uh, to get the Bundesliga title back and Harry will stay for another year. But it must have, Jeff, it will undoubtedly have crossed his mind because he probably can't believe what's going on around him at the moment. He really can't. He's gone there. He's gone there thinking, I'm nailed on to win most of the big pots that are on mm. offer. And... Uh, and and look, yes, they're involved in the Champions League, but with the way that they're playing in the league, there's no they got no divine right to think they're going to go the distance in that competition either, with or without Harry Kane. So he would he would most certainly be thinking about it. And if he has a big Euros, if he has a big Euros for England, and decides, do you know what? I have had enough. I, I'm going to come back. I think there'll still be plenty that will take him. Mm. I do. Who I do mean, you, who do you think? I think United should have took him. United was such an obvious one to take yeah. Harry Kane. They should have done. Um, now, but would Harry leave a Bayern Munich to go to Man United, who are also not in the guaranteed uh, yeah. bracket, are they? Far from it at the moment. So I'm not so sure. But 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 I think there would be a, there would be options available to him definitely. Busy Friday of football, mm -hmm. and now we have got a busy Monday, busy Monday of football in the EFL. Lots and lots going on. But you know what? Let's start right at the top, shall we? Right at the stop of the championship because Ipswich go into the bank holiday Monday top of the championship Connor Chaplin's goal sent them to the top beating Blackburn um, on Friday victory was an eighth in nine games for Ipswich and they got a big big game today against fourth place Southampton Kieran McKenna the manager just 37 years of age continues to receive plenty of praise and he's relishing the battle for promotion Really good game, I hope. It should be a fantastic atmosphere. Um, two positive teams. So far, new player, of course, a really attractive style of play and a possession dominant style of play. So, um, yeah, it's going to be two teams looking to impose themselves. We know we're going to have to work really, really hard off the ball, but look, it's a game to really, to really enjoy. Um, we've had great games at Portman Road this year against so many teams. We really enjoyed the games against Leeds and Leicester at home. And, you know, let's make this another one to enjoy and, and hopefully a good result. 37, Jeff. Took them from League One mm. to the Championship, and with what seven games to go, they sit top of the Championship. Staggering. This, this is this is a special story, which is not too far away now from the perfect ending. It, 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 it's staggering, you know, because you, you look at them, and in, in terms of the Championship, Leicester leads Southampton. They're juggernauts. They're juggernauts, and, and Ipswich haven't got that sort of financial funding. And, and I think people would have most Ipswich fans after going up last season would have settled for you know top half of the table. The most impressive thing to me. Uh, to be honest, Sam, was that they had this really indifferent run and you mm. thought, that's it, that's them done. Mm. But not a bit of it, the way they've come back. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant story. It's the 5.30 game today, um, Ipswich versus Southampton. So they're going well in the Championship. One team not going so well, more misery on Friday for Leicester, losing to Bristol City. Um, they've now lost four of their past six league games. Um, Leicester top the table. By 17 points, only 12 weeks to go. Now third in the table before facing sixth place Norwich today, mm. who are in seriously good form. I'll just say that one more time. 17 points clear, only a couple of months ago, and now they're outside of the top two. Everybody, Andy, <clears throat> thought it's going to be a walk in the park. Yeah. They're going to go down yeah. as one of the most dominant teams we've ever seen in the championship. Now they've got a serious fight on their hands just to, to stay in the top two. Yeah, and I heard Enzo Mareska saying the other day about it. He said, look, the start of our season was astonishing. Start was so good. 
what's happening to us mm. now, he said, is normal. Well, it's not normal. Mm. It's not. A, I, I understand what he means by by uh, by how brilliant they were at the, uh, in the early part of the campaign. They were amazing. But but they have shown signs that they're getting rattled and they're wobbling. They have done. There's no 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 question what about you, that. What do you do, Andy? You played in good team when you're on such a bad run and you can't get a win for love nor money. How is there anything you you look to do? It's to... The worst feeling in the world, mm. Sam. Mm. It's so horrible. It, it really genuinely is when you know that you've lost a spark and it's not happening and and you start look everyone starts looking around at each other. It all goes a bit quiet sometimes in the dressing room. Everyone's because you're all worried about your own backside, mm. looking after your own game. Whereas when things are going well, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing as well as doing a bit for everybody else. It's it's weird that about football in the dressing room. You know, it's a it's a team game, but when the what's it hits the fan, it can become <laughs> it can become every man for himself. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Stop scoring goals, haven't they? <laughs> you know, they've, yeah. they've stopped scoring goals. Miss, six Vardy missing six. Cities, yeah. You know, but, but, but Vardy's been the only one who has scored though. Mm. I think in the last six he's scored four of them, and yeah. you know, Pats and Dak has stopped scoring. Clichy and Acha has been in and out most of the yep. the season. You know. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult. Big game it's, today you as well. know, when it snowballs like that, you mm, know, and the confidence disappears, really tough for them. Less than Norwich, the twelve oh, thirty game today. Well, Norwich are in great form, and they're they're, they're sixth and going really well. Um, just two two things I want to give a shout out mm. to Jeff Vacan in, in in League One. Um, fair play to Lincoln City, now unbeaten in fourteen league games um, in League One. They've won four matches in a row in the EFL for the first time since October. So the goal machine ground to a halt a bit didn't it at the weekend because they've been scoring mm. fives and sixes and I think they had to settle for one didn't they right just, in the last minute just the one yeah. but uh, they're sixth in the table so yeah. in the playoffs Great. going well and also a shout out to Carlisle's John Mellish um, he scored his first career hat-trick on his 184th appearance in the Football League after scoring just twice in his first 39 league appearances of the season before today. Hope Adrian Durham's not, Adrian Durham's not up because they're bottom of the table and they beat Adrian's beloved Peterborough 3-1. Uh, but Peterborough are still fourth on the table behind uh, Bolton, Derby and uh, and Portsmouth. There's a couple of nice stories from, from League One. Yeah, Jeff. it's brilliant. I should just say as well, by the way, shout out for my lot because um, Hartlepool beat Halifax and boy, did we need to on Friday. So well done, Super Kev Phillips. But <laughs> today we're away at Rochdale and, and Pep Guardiola, Premier League supporters, this is our fourth game in nine days. Fourth yeah. game. In, and one of those was away at Eastleigh, which is 330 miles either way. And we go by coach, boys, <laughs> not by plane. It's a crazy, crazy schedule. And uh, there's a part of me thinks there must be a better way of doing things than this. But never mind, mm. keeps uh, National League football fans uh, on their toes. Um, I was going to go to Rochdale today after the show, I thought. And uh, then... And look at the train schedule. And look at the train schedules and no trains from Euston. <laughs> oh, well done, boys. I mean, it's, only, it's only Easter Monday. People want to be out and about. So, yeah. un- incredible. Never mind. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.